my destiny. I hope it is a destiny that will bring honor to our family. And if it requires my life, I will sacrifice it gladly to be a good servant of our nation. That's too big to be planes, right? Okay, hi guys and welcome to the show. And today I'm doing another die-cast um, aircraft review. Uh, this particular one is the Mitsubishi A6M0. Uh, and this is the Model 21. Um, an earlier version. And um, this particular one I've been after for quite a while because it's the it's the one that they used to attack Pearl Harbor and uh, it's a very iconic plane um, infamous for being one of the most capable uh, aircraft carrier based fighters of, of World War II and in fact when it when it attacked Pearl Harbor um, it was still considered uh, the most capable fighter um, a long-range fighter with, with incredible um, um, maneuverability um, and uh, compared to the the USP-40 which was uh, the main fighter of the Pacific uh, fleets at, at the time it was it completely outclassed it I mean the, the Japanese Zero uh, was really the dominant uh, fighter uh, until the Americans kind of caught up towards uh, the latter part of the war with the Hellcat and other such um, fighters that could actually engage the Zero in a dogfight but uh, for the most part at the beginning of the war um, the Zero was uh, unchallenged in its dominance of the uh, skies of the Pacific and, and um, was a really um, uh, quite a feared and equally well respected um, uh, fighter. So let's have a closer look. Uh, and this is from uh, a company called Forces of Valor. This is the box here, it just came in a standard uh, plastic box. Uh, and I was a little bit dubious about um, buying Forces of Valor because um, I haven't really had much experience with their models um, and also the, the, the price was I managed to get a bid on this one for about ten dollars um, and I didn't expect to win it I thought I'd be outbid but nobody bid so I ended up winning this for ten dollars absolutely brand new really nice heavy feel um, I'm really impressed with the paint job um, rotating uh, propeller um, even includes a bomb there and uh, two, the wheels um, unfortunately they don't, they don't fold back up into the uh, undercarriage but um, uh, it does look like they do uh, but really really fantastic detail and they even included uh, a little pilot in there um, I really wanted it in white 
just basically because of that iconic kind of the image of, of these attacking Pearl Harbor I just um, I just really particularly wanted this I just really wanted this in the white um, color uh, really impressive um, model the actual casing for the for the engine actually comes apart I'm, I'm not going to attempt it now because it took a, it's quite tricky to get in but um, um, so yeah you got little holes there for the machine guns another two here um, a little aerial uh, radio antenna there uh, really amazing detail um, and of course you have the big uh, Japanese rising sun um, uh, red circle there uh, beautiful uh, wing wing shape um, and I'm really impressed with this the, compared to the, my previous Corgi models I would it's not as good as Corgi uh, but it's definitely better than uh, the Agostini um, so, uh, I, I'm, I'm really I'm really impressed with this um, the only criticism is the stand it came with this little plastic thing I really don't like this. It feels very flimsy. I don't trust it to to have to put my plane on it. In fact, I'm going to display it. I think just on the on a shelf like that with um, on its um, landing gears. Um, also, it does this lean thing, which makes it look like I gives it gives the impression that it's um, kind of flying at an angle, which is quite cool. But this is very flimsy, and considering this is a real, this is solid metal. A heavy piece. I'm I'm not too um, keen on this display stand, but it's fine because I'm I'm not gonna I'm not gonna use it. But um, so that was the only little bit of disappointment. It could have been had a more substantial, stronger um, stand. Uh, but the actual model itself is really really well done. I especially love the detail. Um, don't know if you can see that on the wheels. Um, just little 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 numbers and you know just tiny little dots of um, touches of color and just really add to the um, uh, um, the realism of the piece and uh, of course it's um, forces of valor is, is made by Unimax as you can see there um, and it is indeed made in China uh, I think that's probably one of the reasons why I was a bit dubious about buying this. You know, I prefer to support companies like uh, Corgi or, or um, uh, but uh, I have to admit, I'm, I'm really, I mean, for, for 20 bucks, I can't really complain. And, and also, I've been trying to get this, this particular model, the earlier Zero. Um, uh, from Pearl, the, the, from the ones that attacked Pearl Harbor, and, and I just couldn't find them for less than 40, 50 bucks. Um, so to to get this one in an auction, to win it in an auction, brand new for 10 bucks, you know, is a steal. So I'm really, really happy with that. Um, and just quickly, I also bought another piece of armor, and I've been very, very naughty because I said I wouldn't buy any more armor pieces, but I just saw this paint job. Uh, this is a Sherman from um, uh, this is the Sherman from the Korea conflict, uh, 1951 Han River. Um, so this is an American Sherman tank, um, and I don't really collect pieces uh, outside of World War II. But I just saw this paint job, uh, and I was just absolutely amazed by it. I've already got a, a Sherman tank from um, from the Normandy. Um, uh, invasion. Um, I'll do a, f a review on this later, but I just wanted to show you this amazing paint job. Absolutely stunning. Beautiful 50 cal um, caliber machine gun on the top. Anyway, we'll save that for another day. Uh, but uh, what I did want to say is um, I'm, I'm really impressed with, with uh, Forces of Valor. And on the back of their box, um, just came like this, lots of instruction. On the back, they have uh, quite a nice selection. Um, Stukas, there's a hurricane there. 
Um, nice hurricane with a black paint job there. That, that looks pretty cool. Another Stuka. Um, and of course the P40 that I, I just touched on, the, the one I got, and the famous Messerschmitt ME262, which is the first jet propelled um, fighter uh, of, well, first one ever to be made and actually fly. Um, these came in right at the end of the war, obviously. Quite an impressive range, and I, and I definitely will um, be um, buying several more. I, I, I really like this. Uh, I really like the attention to detail, and, and the pricing is, is really good. Uh, it's really modest. So I definitely will be considering more uh, Forces of Valor. But anyway, um, another little drawback, I really don't like these these holes, these screw holes that were used to fasten it into the box. Uh, it kind of detracts a bit from the undercarriage. And of course you have this hole at the back for the, for the stand. Um, so on, on the stand it'd be like that, so on slightly on an angle, which is cool, but um, I don't trust it. Um, it's a shame about these screw holes. That, um, but anyway, a really good uh, deal, I think, for, for 10 bucks. Um, have a look on eBay, you might find some yourself, and definitely a, a, a worthy addition to my collection. Okay guys, I'll leave it there. Um, I'll just leave you with some clips of this bad boy in action and um, thank you for watching please subscribe if you're new to the channel more reviews coming soon every week and uh, I'll catch you next time ciao Son of a...